Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to import your own save files for Pokemon Crystal, Gold, and Silver, and how to set up your real-time clock. Now, this tutorial is heavily based on the work by Kyoma. Um, you can see his video here. He showed how to actually, like, you know, get the save file, convert it so it will import, but I'm going to try to streamline the video a little bit and show you how to even reset your clock. So we're going to do all that in one quick video. Anyway, check out his videos. Tell him thanks specifically because he's the one who came up with this. Without his video, this would not be possible. Anyway, first thing you need to do is you need to have a save file on your Pokemon Crystal version. Um, now, I'm going to be showing you how to transfer it forwards and back all in one step. So, um, if you're transferring from Pokemon Crystal version Virtual Console, then you can just you can just skip this step since you already have a save file. But if you just bought Pokemon Crystal version, you will need to make a save file. So, as you can see here, I already have a save file. It says it's Sunday. Um, 10 o'clock, but all you need is just a save file. It doesn't matter what you have in it. Just create one and then in game save Once you're done with that you're ready to go on to the next step All right, and once you have your save file, we're going to go ahead and export it to our SD card So we're going to use um, JKSM for that from JKSM. We're going to go to refresh games Make sure it has all our games listed All right, once it's done we can just go to SDCA Scroll until you find the game, Pokemon Crystal, or Pokemon Gold or Silver. And then we're going to do Save Data Options. And then we're going to export a save file. So you can call it whatever you want. We're just going to call this. I'm just going to call it Out. And then press A when you're done typing a name. And then boom, your save file is exported. So now let's move over to the computer and go ahead and edit our save. Alright, once you have your micro SD card in, go ahead and find the folder. It should be in the JK sv folder then open up saves then open up pokemon crystal as you can see i have multiple folders here what we called our export was out so that's the folder i'm going to open you'll see two files here so the next thing you'll need is a program called hxd which is the same thing he used in his tutorial load up hxd and you can simply drag and drop your save data dat now find a save file you want to import So now take the save file you want to import and just drag it and drop it also inside of here. So now you have two files. You have your save data.dat and you have your actual save file. So what we're going to do is we want to make a backup of this real quick. Just copy this anywhere. Your old save data.dat. Copy. Let's just put it here. Paste. Boom. We have it backed up. All right. So now what you want to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom of your save data.dat. Find the last line and highlight it. Click on anywhere and highlight it. Right click, copy, come over here, scroll all the way down to the bottom. Click at the very, very end, we're ending in FF. Right click, paste insert. It may give you an, uh, a pop up saying, like, this is going to change the file size. If so, press OK or yes. All right, now go ahead and close this old save data.dat. And then all you have is this new one with the new line in it, it should be red. File. Save as. All right, and now you want to save it as save data.dat in whatever folder you just made. Remember, I made an out folder. So what you can do, highlight everything, right click, copy, click down here, control V for paste, and hey, look, we're in that folder. All right, now we're going to save it as save.dat. It says you want to overwrite. Yes, we do. And now we should be done. So let's go ahead and switch back over to our 3DS and see if we can actually get this save file imported. All right, now back on your 3DS, boot up JKSM again and find Pokemon Crystal. Now go to Save Data Options, Import Save, and then just find the one that we just had, which I called out. Really restore, yes. Complete. All right, now let's try ahead, go ahead and boot up the game. All right, the game successfully boots up and here's our save file. So that is good. It's working. All right. Um, so the last thing we want to do is change the clock. All right. So in order to reset your clock, you'll have to generate a password. So you'll need to know a few things for that. So simply boot up your game and scroll down to your name and press A. You'll need to know your name, your ID number, and how much money you have. So go ahead and write that down somewhere. Bob. And every and this is case sensitive. ID number 62084. Money. Three, two, nine, three, six. All right, with all that written down, now you can go to the time changer page, and this will give us the password we're gonna need in a little bit. So the first box is for name, so you can just click over here if you want, if, in case you have symbols in your name. B, O, B. Remember, it's case sensitive. ID number, and then money. 
All right, and then click Generate Password. And then here will be our password that we're going to need. So now, how, where do you type in this password? You will only need to type it in the title screen, but you have to enter the menu. There's two different methods. One method is for Pokemon Gold and Silver, and Crystal version has a separate method. I believe this is locked out from other regions of the game, so I think this only works on the USA or international release of the game. But let's go ahead and try it out. So since we're using Crystal version, for, Crystal version is harder, so we'll start with that. So simply just go back to the main menu. You can do that by just tapping anywhere and then clicking the reset button if you want. And that's quick and easy. All right, when at the title screen, hold down, select, and B, and that's a down arrow. Okay. So when on the title screen for Pokemon Crystal version, hold the down arrow, select, and B all at the same time. Then while holding those three buttons, release, down, and B, so only select is held. Next, press left and up at the same time. Now let go of select. And you should see a password, and then you should see the reset the clock screen, say yes, and it says enter your password. You can use the arrow keys to scroll over and up and down to enter your, to change the number. Password OK, select continue, continue and reset settings. All right, so now we'll, the game will have restarted and we should be able to change our clock. So we'll go ahead and click continue and it says time is messed up. The clock may be wrong, please reset the time. Four. money. All right, and now we're exactly back where we were before. So now we can press start and go to our pokey gear and there we go, Monday 2.57. And it's working just fine. So now, of course, you want to save. Nine, three, six. And if you happen to be watching this video because you have a save file from your 3DS and you want to play it on your original cartridge or emulator, you just do the exact opposite. Open up save.dat. Find the last line. Select all of it. And make sure it's only just this one line. Press delete. It may ask you if it's going to say, change the file size. Just say yes or OK. Now it's going to save this. Save as. Now you can call this whatever you want. You just want to make sure it ends in .sav. You may want to name it the same thing as your ROM file. That way it will load it automatically. But otherwise, you can just go ahead and import it. Battery file. Go ahead and continue. It says it can't read the real-time clock data. That's fine. And ta-da! it went ahead and loaded up our save file. So yes, if all you want to do is transfer your save file one way from your 3DS to your computer or cartridge, that's how you do it. The, that's how you reset the clock. Again, the Pokemon Silver version is the exact same process, instead of, but instead of doing all those three steps, all you have to do is hold down arrow, select MB, and then the password screen should come up. So just like we did, except you don't have to keep holding and releasing different buttons. So all right, I hope this video helped you guys out. Again. Thanks to Kyomon for the um, original video. Uh, I hope this helped expand upon what he did, and I guess I'll see you guys later. Bye.